what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? The mother of a 12-year-old girl has been arrested after Jesus Loves tattoo was spotted on her shoulder. The tattoo, which also featured a blue-green cross, was seen by a fifth grade teacher at Onco Sergeant Elementary in Noonan, Georgia during a dance when the girl wore a strapless dress. The teacher called the police to report it. Each of the parents had a different story, and it boiled down to, frankly, just some finger pointing. The girl originally told authorities that her father had forced her to get the tattoo and that it angered her mother. Later, the girl reportedly changed her story to say that she wanted the tattoo. The father, meanwhile, told authorities that his daughter had gotten the tattoo at a Super Bowl party. This was confirmed by a video of tattoo artist Brenda Gaddy tattooing several people there, including a number of minors. So are tattoos under the age 18 appropriate? Gaddy was arrested along with the girl's mom, Emmy Nolan, 35, who was charged with being a party to a crime. Wow. Some people are going to say, you can't judge, don't judge. You don't know my story. You don't know the child's story. That's true. Many kids get these tattoos to just be cool because they're trendy. Then other kids get it because they want to honor a loved one who is deceased. A mother, father, sister, brother, a cousin, a friend. I get it. But I think that some things you should have to wait for. Kids are impulsive. And they are oftentimes incapable of making correct decisions, especially decisions that have long-term effects. This is why you call it a guardian. This is why parents and people who are over kids, who have custody of kids, are called guardians because you are supposed to guard, guide, and help them to make good choices. We've seen so many negative effects that tattoos have on youngsters when they're out there, not just youngsters, but people, period, when they're out there trying to get into the workplace. Even if you own your own business, some people just don't want to do business with a dude who got a gun tatted on his face. Some people just don't want to do that. So I think that it limits your choices. For all the youngsters out there listening to me, I really do believe, and I'm not trying to ride you, I just do believe that in life, you give yourself as many options as possible so that you can live the life that you want. Give yourself as many options. Don't shut doors. And I do believe that tattoos often shut doors before you even get a chance to walk up to the door. The door is slammed because people just don't want somebody with tats all over their body representing their brand. Now, y'all tell me what y'all think. Is 18 old enough? Should anybody under 18 be required to have some type of uh, parental permission or legal permission? Or should you just wait Period. Should kids wait until they're 18? Do they have, should they have to wait? Should it even be a, a required by law? I personally don't think the police should have to get into this. I don't think this is a legal matter. I think this is, a, this is a parental matter. I think parents should be able to make decision. And I know some of these parents, I've even seen cases where parents are tatting up kids that are two years old, one years old. Like one year olds. That's crazy. So I don't know, man. I guess it has to be some kind of intervention at that point because everybody ain't smart enough. You might say, well, my kid is 10, they're 12, 
the mature for the age and you know I'm gonna get a tattoo she's gonna be a little small a little dot and it's not it's gonna be harmless and that should be okay and plus they really really want the tattoo so what happens y'all is that a lot of times the government steps in and you, you get this overreach because Parents aren't responsible. You have too many parents out there that are not responsible. And oftentimes, they act like the kids. You can't really tell who the adult is and who the kid is. So I get it. When can parents say no? I do believe that kids have to have boundaries. If you don't have boundaries, you have chaos. There has to be protocol. There has to be a chain of command. Even when you look at business, every business have a chain of command. Somebody got to answer to somebody all the way down the line. And somebody got to be at the very top. Or else you're going to have chaos. Works the same way in the home. Children can't be acting like adults and making their own decisions and just doing whatever they want to do. And you have the parents that say, well, what do you want to do? If that's what you want to do, then I guess that's okay with, you, with me. Let's check with your father. Well, your father, well, that's what you want to do? That's what you want to do. That's, what a lot of, that's how a lot of parents are today. Whatever you want to do, you can just do it. Do whatever you want to do. If that's how you feel, do it. My thoughts, additionally, the body is still growing. It's still stretching at 12 years old. A flower today could look like a tree tomorrow. Let the body grow out. Let the kids grow up. And then I do believe like once they become an adult and they want to make these decisions like that, then let them have at it. I know I got tats. Actually, I regret giving some, not all my tats, but I, I regret getting some of the tats that I have. But I have tats. My kids don't have tats. They're not grown. And they can do whatever they want. Growing up, their mom and me warned them about the consequences of tattoos. And they saw many, many examples of kids and grown folks who got tattoos and they were denied certain things in life. So, they got that and they didn't want to be a part of that. They're grown now. They can do whatever they want to do. But under my roof, under my rules, being a parent, being a father, doing what I thought was best for my kids, I couldn't have it. Now, another parent might think differently. They may see it a whole different way. But again, I just believe in giving a kid as many options as possible in life. <laughs> Having said that, many parents today are telling their girls that they are boys and they're telling their boys that they're girls. When you consider the fact that in this country you have 13 year olds participating in sex changes. Tattoos is child's play. No more talk. Wonder what the ladies talking about. 
Thanks.